This is the um, making kit for the Slinky Slider DIY $10 camera slider um, or £10 depending on which country you're in. Uh, as you can see it's quite simple you need the hacksaw once to because I well I bought these two um, well they're actually one uh, 1.22 uh, centimeter chrome tube and cut it in half with the hacksaw. That's the hardest bit of work actually, because it's quite heavy, heavy going with hacksaw, but it's doable. Um, three quarter inch, yeah. Um, three of these uh, conduit boxes, which are the boxes they use for electrical parts. Uh, in, in different places you can get them in um, plastic. Um, here they're, they're in metal. Um, and four circlips, uh, just standard pipe circlips. Some PTFE thread seal, which is the Teflon um, tape, which is used for plumbing, um, for piping. Super glue, a little bit of Velcro, I will see for Y4 scissors, and um, car wax, proper car wax. Um, Carnoba car wax, which is the best, as they say. Um, and that's it, and then just assemble slowly but surely. For the waxing, it, it's it's really um, important that you do it quickly because it's um, as with doing cars, it's wax on, wax off with this stuff. So you don't want to leave it on to get um, to get dry because it'll make taking it off very hard because um, it goes it, it gets um, stuck on to the metal. So this single uh, tube cost around um, two pounds seventy or something. So probably equivalent in your currency um, and it comes up really lovely really shiny and slippery so this is the um, important part it's the um, car uh, cam camera actual carrier um, as you can see I've done this uh, um, very ugly but very functional um, little uh, setup here with the PTFE tape just pressed around the outside and a little bit of, of Velcro um, super glued to the top here to give it some stability with the pipe in there. Uh, undo that on, on all the holes. And I'm just going to continue covering up the, the gaps in the metal. So I'm trying to create a, 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 a frictious, as frictionless a, um, a contact between two surfaces as possible, the, the polished chrome and these junction boxes. Right, that's it just about done um i could do it better but you know this is a work in progress the other thing um that it's, it's advisable to do is to stick little bits of um of velcro in the top of the end pieces as well just to stop the play that goes on there that keeps it nice and steady so that's my next job with the super glue so now you can see just on the entry side for the pipes on the end pieces, the piece of Velcro, and now it's just time for the assembly. Ha ha ha! Which is the fun piece. Slip that in there. Now to assemble Two pieces of, uh, of blue tack or whatever, or you, of course you can drill this down and put it onto a plate and make it more solid and permanent. I'm a bit more of a bodger, I like to keep things so I can move them around and fiddle around. So uh, that state, all you've got here is And there you go. So here it is with a smartphone mounted. Um, one thing I do suggest is that you keep uh, your car wax handy so that you can re uh, renew the, um, the slidiness of it as you need to. Just to give you an idea of the cost, this is these are about um, all three of these, somewhere about two pound thirty pence. The Hope pipe was about two pound sixty, so up to about six pounds. Um, and 
the uh, screw mount um, I got off an old um, one of those cheap ti 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 tripods you get on uh, on eBay, but I suspect you can get them in any camera shop for next to nothing. Then you need a you know if you've got to use the the car wax if you've got that around it saves money of course Velcro is nothing. I'm going to keep uh, expanding and, and experimenting. You know I want to get get a work out some way of having a, a tripod mount. You know. Um, which uh, could be quite a, an interesting um, little exercise. There you go, slinky slider. So in the end, having um, experimented with lovely bits of um, uh, elastic and all that kind of stuff, I've discovered that the best way to do it for me is to pull using the um, this little fixed, what do you call it, strap.